Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be doing another Q&A video. We're going to be talking about customizable mansions, introducing new cities in Grand Theft Auto Online, and a whole lot more. So again, if you want to get involved in the next Q&A, be sure to follow me on my social medias, Facebook and Twitter in particular. Those are going to be the first two links in the description, and you can get involved in the next Q&A video. So let's get started. So our first question coming from Tanner Van Rassel, he says, Mr. Boss for the win, if you could own a car from GTA in real life, what would it be? And again, I'm going to ask this question to you guys. So right now in the comments section, if you could have any car from GTA 5, I'm guessing, let me know what it would be. My personal car would either be the Imponte Dukes or the Pegasi Zentorno. The Zentorno, just because the real life equivalent is about $4 million, so in case that I get bored of it, I could always sell it for like $4 million and become an instant millionaire. So I'm kind of thinking that way. Also, the Zentorno is a great sports car, great supercar. So that would be awesome. I, I would want those two vehicles. Let me know what you guys would think about that in the comments section right now. So Daniel Taylor 95 says, how do you like the idea of using airports to fly to different cities, i.e. pay $200 to fly to North Yankton? Well, first Rockstar would have to introduce new cities, but I think that would be awesome. Right now, the airport doesn't really serve a purpose other than holding our air vehicles and our Pegasus vehicles, and it really doesn't serve any other purpose. You can't use the airplanes to travel anywhere outside of the world of Los Santos. I think that'd be amazing, like if they would eventually introduce Vice City or Liberty City, and you could go to the Los Santos International Airport pay 200 bucks which i think is kind of cheap and then be able to go to a new city and explore there i think that would be really cool it would make the airport a lot more useful and that sounds extremely exciting to me so i really like that concept so boss or funny game says do you think it would be epic to have a design your own mission mod on gta 5 for pc and he also asked me another question regarding i think it was custom mansions or something along the lines of that yes i absolutely do think so for both of them i think those two things would be epic there was like a skyrim dlc it's kind of slipping my name right now i think it was like hearth fire or something like that where you could literally create your own it wasn't a mansion because it was in skyrim but you could create your own house and i think gta 5 would be epic to not only create your own missions but also so, like take one of the interiors of a Rockford Hills mansion and make it your own kind of like a custom created mansion house I think that'd be pretty freaking epic and I think that would be one of the coolest things that would entice me about GTA 5 on the PC is an exciting mod like that where I could create my own home and not an apartment in Grand Theft Auto 5 and of course Los Santos so TT124MC says, do you think that there will be a GTA 6 trailer this year? If so, what's one of the one things you want to see in it? Now, I personally do not think we are going to be getting a GTA 6 trailer this year. I think we're maybe at least a year or two away from that. I think Rockstar's got a few other plans. But if we were to see one, I would like to see the palm trees of Vice City. You know, Southern Miami and going back to Vice City for GTA 6. That is why my one wish. You know, we've had Liberty City twice. We've had Los Santos twice. The only city we haven't gotten twice is Vice City, and I, I just want to go back there. I want to see the sun and, you know, the 80s theme, even though that probably won't happen, and just the palm trees of Miami. I think that would be great, and I think that would be an ultra cool setting. Paul asked, do you think that there will be a set allowance of heist players that you can do every 24 hours? I think there is going to be a cooldown period for heist, meaning you can't do them over and over and over and over again, simply due to the fact that you're probably going to be able to make a ton of money. It might be like 45 minutes or like one day equivalent GTA time, like kind of like how it is selling cars in the Los Santos custom shop, but I don't think it's going to be a huge penalty where you can only do like one heist per day. I think that'd be really stupid, and I think that'd be extremely dumb on Rockstar's end if they totally limited what we could do with heist and our last question coming from larry the cable guy 3 he says since gta 5 introduced three playable characters in story mode do you think future gta's i guess like gta 6 will have the same feature that's right rockstar kind of set a huge precedent by introducing three main characters this is the first grand theft auto to feature more than one main character and it's like are they going to be able to go back to one main character or even two are they going to have to go even farther? Four or five? Is, does it a point where it becomes too complicated? Five main characters, you can't even keep up with the story. I personally think three is a good balance. It lets everyone kind of enjoy one of the main characters. Like, uh, I know there was an issue. Some people might have not liked CJ or might not like Nico. And if you don't like those main characters, you're not going to particularly like the game. But with three characters, you have a wider chance of appealing to more people. Like, one person might love Trevor, but hate Michael. So there you go. You can play as Trevor, and you can enjoy the 
the game that way. So I do think it's a neat concept, and I think it's cool. Who knows if Rockstar is going to do that in future Grand Theft Auto games. So anyways, those are all the questions for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did like the video, a thumbs up rating would be awesome. I would really appreciate that, guys. And of course, also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.